Hi, Chris Locke, Gravel Bike Pirate here. Um, doing a follow up on my Cato slash encoder um, Oakley review that I did. Um, I'm going to actually see how these glasses perform on the bike. Um, first thing is I have this Oakley um, Aero, I believe this is the Aero 3 helmet. Um, and you can see the um, Kato's on there, how they work with the, um, the cutouts in the helmet. That's the Kato's. And this is the encoder how it works with the helmet. The encoder actually works a little better with it. These little rubber pieces um, grip onto the helmet um, a little bit nicer and kind of keep them uh, sturdy on there. The um, Kato's actually kind of roughed my helmet up a little bit. You can see like right there, they're uh, plastic uh, kind of gets in there and kind of gouged it up a little bit. So, um, in my opinion, the, uh, the encoders actually work a little better. Um, with the helmet on, without a hat. Um, the encoders... And the Kato's. Now the one thing that I have noticed when I'm riding with the Kato's is um, the, the nose piece coming down does kind of help you feel a little warmer. So um, kind of works more like a goggle sort of a feel. Um, I really like that. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna like it when it gets really super hot in the summer, but um, I, I, could, I could see that being a little bit of a problem when you're sweating, but uh, um, like the way it is right now, it's kind of chilly out and it's actually kind of nice to have that coverage over your face. So I'm riding with the encoders on right now. Um, they're light, just came down a hill. There's some air leakage around the outside. They don't really sealed right to my face, which I'm guessing is going to be completely different with the Kato. Uh, I like them. They're good. For, uh, riding. They're just a very traditional, normal feeling pair of Oakley sunglasses. So this is what they look like on with the Oakley helmet and this is what they look like on the helmet um, stowed if you are not going to be wearing them. It's getting dark or something like that. Um, they fit in the stow ports. Um, Pretty good so now we're gonna try the Oakley Kato's so there's the Kato's in the stove ports um, they're a little harder to get in there um, the frame is a little bit more rigid um, it's a little harder to get them in there and I think the bows might be a little bit longer um, but yeah so they do work but they're just a little bit more of a pain to get in there <sighs> these are the Oakley Kato's with the helmet. You can see they have a lot more coverage um, over the face. Um, for what I can tell, um, the Kato's and the encoders are pretty much the same lens. The um, Kato's are just 
um, not cut as much as the encoders are and they have a different bowl um, set up. But you can definitely tell when you're riding with these, you feel like you're wearing a uh, pair of sunglasses that really covers more. Um, they obviously cover more, they cover your nose, they cover more of your cheeks. Um, my concern with that is that maybe there's not enough airflow unless this somehow works with uh, your hat to kind of vent air in over the top of the lens and then in through to keep you from fogging up. That's gonna be interesting throughout the summer to kind of figure out if that is the case. Um, I'm gonna go and ride up a hill right now and see if I get them to fog up. Okay, so I just went up a pretty good hill. I didn't notice any fogging at all. The, uh, the glasses shade you pretty good from the wind, but what I did notice coming down one little stretch was there's still quite a bit of air flow behind the lenses. So I feel like as long as you're going at a pretty good clip, you're not going to have a problem with these things fogging up. That was my concern with them, but I really don't think it's going to be a problem at all. Uh, they're nice because they do make you feel like your, your eyes are definitely sheltered and even like the bridge of my nose I've noticed if it's a really super cold day I will kind of get sort of an ice cream headache from the, the wind and the really icy cold air hitting uh, between my eyes but with these I feel like it's gonna completely cut that out and it's not gonna be an issue whatsoever um, both of these glasses are great I have to say the Kato's are a little bit of a step above I almost want to say the uh, encoders almost hit me as more of a sport lifestyle sort of a pair of sunglasses they're um, more fashion and these are more function um, but these ones also have a very distinctive look so it's kind of all up to you what you think is going to serve your riding style best so there's my little on-bike review of the Oakley encoder and the Kato. I am really, every time I ride with these Kato's, more and more impressed with them. Like right now, I'm a little bit sweaty. Um, my forehead is a little, little warm. It's cold out and I'm not fogging up at all. These do not have any hydrophobic coating. As far as I know, they didn't have any badges on them or anything when I got them. So I'm guessing that the hydrophobic coating is not on these, but um, they're not fogging up at all. You got this little lip up here. And I think when you're riding, your helm or your hat kind of catches some of the wind and kind of pushes it down and out through the bottom. So highly recommend these. Uh, I recommend the encoders too. It just kind of all comes down to your style preference and what you're comfortable with wearing. They also have um, the Kato's in a Kato X, which has the nose cut out. So they're a little more traditional looking. Um, personally, I really like this look and uh, the function of the regular Kato's. So like I said, it's all what you're comfortable with, what you like for style. Um, from here on out, uh, I, this is pretty much all I got for these, uh, set of glasses. Um, thanks for watching Gravel Bike Pirate. This is a channel for bikes, bike gear, riding, 
Um, if you're into it, you like the content, you like what I'm showing you, um, give me a follow, give me a subscribe. Um, hit the notification bell so that you can see new stuff when I post it. I post rides, I post uh, uh, gear, um, helmets, uh, pretty much anything that I think pertains to the enjoyment of riding bikes and riding on gravel. So um, got some bike reviews on here too. So check them out. Uh, thanks for watching Gravel Bike Pirate. I'll see you later. Hey, almost forgot. Check out my 365 days of biking. I'm riding every day this year. So far, so good. I'm on like day 112, 113. I think today is 113. So um, you can check me out on Facebook. That's uh, Chris Locke on Facebook. And I post pictures every day of a ride that I do just around the neighborhood or wherever I go. So.